this is a factory we built for the 2022 season. It is a 800 to 1,000 ton per season dry nut and shell factory. Uh, we can do about two tons of nut and shell an hour. We've got a dehusking, curing, sizing and sorting and truck outfeed area. Uh, no cold storage. Interesting things about this factory, we've got some rubber dehuskers, we've got heat pumps, and we've got a sizer that goes into one 24 ton split load cell unit. Um, yeah, so let's head inside and I'll go show you how it works. This is a standard 8 ton nut and husk hopper. Nuts go from there up into three dehuskers. They've got three dehuskers for one reason, uh, redundancy. This client had a situation last year where one of the dehuskers stopped working and he realized that he really doesn't want to be in that position where one dehusker breaks and he's got tons and tons of nuts um, that he can't process. So he's got two rubber dehuskers and one four lane pneumatic dehusker. How this system is designed is you'd run either two rubber dehuskers or the four lane dehusker. You would never run them all three at the same time. The rubber dehuskers are for your intakes. They are made for soft shells that break easily through the conventional dehuskers. The four lane dehusker is more for your Beaumonts. A4s with thicker shells that don't break as easily. Let's head over to the rubber dehuskers. So nuts come up the incline across the scraper belt into two rubber dehuskers. This is our latest version of our rubber dehusker. It's easily adjustable. You've got two knobs that you turn very, very easily. Um, throughput on this is about one ton of nut and shell per hour if you can separate the husk out properly, uh, which we've done uh, with a blower down at the bottom. Either these two rubber dehuskers or the one four lane dehusker over there. Um, our rubber dehuskers do about 600 kilograms of clean nut and shell, up to about a thousand tons of clean nut and shell, depending on the amount of husk that comes out of there. What we've tried to do with this machine is to create a machine that is extremely soft on macadamia, so that you don't break the premium quality nuts, which is normally your intakes, which have very, very thin shells. So this diaska over here is for intakes, soft shells. That diaska over there is for stuff like Beaumonts that have thick shells that don't break so easily. Let's head down to the sorting area. This over here is our husk separation area. From that rubber husker, everything falls through, so nut and shell, reworks and husk all fall through onto this reverse belt. This belt actually runs backwards, round product rolls against it and flat product stays on the belt and actually falls off the back into your husk separation zone that goes out there. So this lower over here just assists to keep this the, the flat product on the reverse belt and the round stuff rolls down up this belt through the tumbler onto the sorting table. So we head to the sorting table. This is a standard tumbler, nothing fancy about it. Um, it's just echo quality, powder coated, 18 millimeter gaps. Husk falls through, small nuts fall through. Clean nut and shell ends up on this table. Clean nut and shell with a little bit of husk and reworks. That gets separated onto two sides. So your employees only have to focus on one section of the sorting belt, where when you've got the zigzag like our competition or conventional sorting tables have, you get the opportunity where people almost compete for the same area to sort on. So they don't know if it's theirs to sort or if it's the other person's to sort. Where with this concept that we have here, you know that you are focusing on this area and that employee is focusing on that area. Reworks, fall in the middle, into a chute, and down a reworks belt, all the way back to your eight ton hopper. That then goes back up into the de-husking through the system without having to carry crates around full of reworks. Good nuts 
come off the sorting table into a water bath. This is our standard water bath concept for 2022. Up onto a drying belt that you then use to dry the nut and shell completely. If you can dry nut and shell off of the water bath completely dry, you save about a day's worth of drying. So this is something that's been tested by a farmer down in KZN and a farmer up in White River. Both of them have confirmed that this is the actual result. Um, something that we're going to do for our 2023 season, a bit of innovation, is we're going to connect these two systems together so that it becomes one product, cheaper to build, easier to clean, less components, um, less space requirement for your factory. Once this dry product comes off that belt, goes up into the drying room, or better known as a curing room. So dry nuts come from the deasking area of the drying belt, up into this drying room, over the scraper conveyors. And what we've opted for in this area is instead of having one conveyor belt in the middle of the walkway that splits across, we've opted to open up this walkway by putting in a scraper, a cross feed and another scraper this way. So easy to clean, easy to operate, spelt nice and low, change a belt, easy to, uh, yeah, to, to actually see what's happening with the product. Um, nice thing about this area, this drying room, is you've got heat pumps that heat water outside, dehumidifies this room while it's busy heating the water and then we use the hot water through the radiator to heat the room back up. So while we are busy dehumidifying the room, we are also heating it. Gaining efficiency, um, reducing your electrical requirements, and actually creating a system where you can dry at a colder temperature. So we're now down in the central duct where all of the hot, dry air has come from the radiator. These then go into the drying fans. Um, something that you'll notice with our equipment is powder coated. We've got a fully automated powder coating system at our workshop. Everything bolts together, so modular system where everything bolts together. Walkways bolt together, louvers bolt together. Um, super fast installation. Very, very neat powder coating. Gives you a lot of longevity and um, just in general as to the overall quality of the system. So something else that's important to note about this factory is Sisteco did all of the wiring, all of the insulation and all of the mechanical work. We can also supply you with the structural steel and if need be we'll find you a civil contractor to do the floors as well. Um, yeah, so while we're in this area, this client has opted for a fully automated curing system. So what we have here is a sensor that senses that there are nuts inside the bin. And as soon as it picks up those nuts, they, the bin fan turns on. When the bin fan turns on, the extraction fans, the louver, the heat pumps, everything turns on automatically. So it reduces the opportunity or the chance for an employee or an operator to forget to turn on the bin fans when there are nuts in the bin. That added step of automation for peace of mind when you know you've got half a million rands worth of nuts in the bin. Again, standing this area, bolted together, bolted together, bolted together, modular conveyor belt. Um, yeah, quick installation, simple powder coated quality. This is the final sorting area. Nuts come out of the drying room onto a final sorting table. Big open table, very slow. Employees get a lot of time to sort out nut and shell defects. Easier to sort out nut and shell defects once they dry and that's why we put the final sorting table in this area. This area you want to spend as much time as possible making sure that you get rid of as many defects as possible. These nuts then go up into a sizer that separates them into smalls, mediums and larges. Sometimes you've got clients that ask us for their own specific sizes. Um, the industry itself is still new so some clients sell to a specific client that wants 24 millimeter nuts. Others want 18 millimeter nuts. Um, yeah, so up into the sizer. From the sizer, it then goes into three eight-ton bins. 
So these three eight-ton bins sit on a load cell platform, so we can accurately weigh 24 tons of nut and shell. So we can weigh 24 tons of nut and shell. You've taken an eight-ton load out, sorted it, separated it, and you've got eight tons separating these bins. You now want to know how many mediums you've got. Smalls and larges can go back into the drying room, leave mediums in the bin, and you've got your final medium weight. That can then go out on a truck outfeed conveyor. This conveyor has little soft drops because these are now drier nuts, more susceptible to damage. Soft drops, outfeed conveyor, 16 ton per hour. So you can load an eight ton load in half an hour. Um, you can also, in this area over here, you can take this bin and send the nuts into the drying room. So you can choose smalls to the truck or smalls to the drying room. This is the heat pump tank. The two heat pumps that you saw in the drying room, those heat the water in this tank. And this becomes a heat battery. We can store about 400 kilowatt hours of heat in this, in this tank over here. When the PLC system sees that it needs heat, it draws hot water from the system into the drying room, heat pumps and heat up the water again. Very, very efficient. This is about uh, five times more efficient than using electric elements. Um, almost as efficient as a boiler in terms of electricity supply. But the nice thing about this is that you don't need fuel to burn and you've got the added benefit of having dehumidification with the heat pumps in the drying room. So one of the major differentiators that puts the sticker ahead of everyone else in our competition is that we do our own automation in-house. So complete turnkey solution, in-house automation, in-house programming, all the panels built by us, SCADA systems done by us, and all the wiring done by us. Um, something to note about the system, contact trons on the bin fans, these protect your half million rand nuts from any potential damage where an employee or an operator turns an isolator off, plastic fan gets sucked into the bin. If any of those situations happen, this system knows that a fan wants to be on, but it isn't on, and so it alerts the, the operator either via an SMS, a telegram, an email, or a loud siren that goes off on the panel. Other interesting factors about this, we've got push-in terminals, so with time, these terminals will actually tighten instead of loosen. So winter time, summer time, things heat up, they expand, things cool down, they contract. Season starts and your connections have uh, gone loose. With push-in terminals, the connections actually become tighter. Less maintenance, less downtime. In this area over here, we've got a Phoenix Contact PLC. It's called PLC Next. We are one of the first adopters in South Africa to start using this technology. What this allows us to do is to give you expensive SCADA type systems at a fraction of the cost. So instead of spending 100,000 rands on a SCADA system, we install a PLC Next with a free SCADA system. So Seseco has invested a lot of time and effort into finding cost-effective solutions that give you the same results as expensive SCADA systems. Um, this screen over here is just an overview of the drying factory. So you've got bin temperatures, ambient conditions, water temperatures of your heat pumps. Um, it can also be linked to a laptop or computer anywhere in the world. It can send you a telegram notification, an email, an SMS if you really wanted to, which we prefer not to do, but we can. Um, and then the loud siren on the panel if something goes wrong. You've got data in the form of a power monitor. You've got data in the form of temperatures and humidities. Um, and then you've got data in terms of the run hours of each piece of equipment. So we will be able to tell you if this piece of equipment needs to be serviced every 300 hours, it can pop up a notification that says machine needs to be serviced, call the technician. 
Yeah, so thank you for spending some time with us. We're gonna walk through through this factory. Please get in touch with us. Sekura You are now international sales manager. Um, structures, macadamia factories, automation, insulation, heating and cooling, factory design. Anything you need, we've got your back.